Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the first of two videos we got for you today. But first, a new word from our new sponsor. Hey guys, I have a new life hack for you guys, especially if you are a frequent traveler. And yep. that is Sailey, the AESIM app. It's brand new. Check this out. In fact, Alex just recently used this on his trip. And saved me a ton of money. Upgrading my plan to be international would have cost me like 30, 40 bucks. And then someone else's plan was going to cost $12 a day. Yeah. And so it saves oh me God. so much money over the course of my trip. With Sailey, you just don't. Download it once. It's an eSIM card. You don't have to swap out your eSIM card when you get to the new country or wait in big lines at the airport or potentially be scammed. No, it's always there and you're never going to run out of data. We like saving you guys money. Stay connected, save some time, and 24 7 support. Right now, get 15% off with our code and link down below. All you got to do is download the app, click that link below, use code Angry Joe Show, and you'll have it. Scan the code right now on screen is another way to download it really quickly uh, to your app. So uh, we hope you find that useful, especially if you guys travel a lot. And thank you so much, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Check it out. Guys, if you travel, this can save you a ton of money. It worked great when I traveled. Yep. Click the links down below and uh, save yourself some trouble. All right, guys. Well, tell us what the heck Alex has been going on in gaming news after the wonderful uh, uh, Thanksgiving break here. I know there's a lot of, what, uh, Cyber Monday deals going on fake right deals. now. A lot of fake deals. A lot of fake deals. Right. Same price. We Trick do. you on yeah. that, but uh, you know some Black Friday stuff. So what's how, what what's going on? Uh, how many people do you think are pl Lego's huge? You you know you're yes. you're big into Lego. Yes. Uh, Horizon, big property. <sighs> how many people do you think are currently playing Lego Horizon Adventures game that just recently came out? I would say Lego. not Lego's a lot. Lego's big business. It is. Uh, the Star Wars one was pretty fun, but but I don't I, think there's don't, a lot of people. Not I, for maybe. This one. A low, low 5,000. 5,000. So the all time peak well, t is uh, for Star Wars Lego was 82,000. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 82,000. So half, I I'll go half that. 4,000. That's 10,000. Okay, uh, you know what? I'll tell 10, you what. Wait, wait, wait. 10. 3,000. <laughs> No, no, less than Star What do you mean 10,000? More than Star Wars? You're crazy. 82,000. 82,000. Was Star Wars' peak. Oh, 82, yes. not 8,200. No, no. Okay, like, 82,000. No. This is like oh. 10. My bad. Yeah. Even recently, they're hitting 1,500 uh, players playing Lego Star Wars. So, brand 15, new game. Uh, brand new game. It's just 5,000 <laughs> because nobody gives a shit about and fucking Horizon. 10, Bob. Let's go with 10. 10,000? <laughs> Uh, well, you both lose because you have to get closest without going over. Uh, it's 429 people is the all-time peak. 35 people are playing right now. What? Excuse me? 30, 400? 400. What was the peak? Thir uh, 429. <laughs> not 1,000. Just 429. <laughs> 29 people. Yeah. Uh, wow. Is it like exclusive? Only a certain amount of people could get this? Uh, and, uh, it's what 30, happened? 35 people are playing it right now. Um, I fucking knew it. Damn, when I saw that. Yeah. When I saw that trailer, I was like, I am completely disinterested. Me neither. Why does Sony think that, you know, Alloy, Aloy is, is such a powerful, iconic character? It, she's not. And the game is only really good because it's beautiful to look at, you know, and... Uh, it makes sense to me, but that's a colossal disaster. That's like Concord levels. It disaster. is a massive Damn. disaster. It's sixty dollars. Uh, it has mixed reviews on Steam right now, and nobody's playing it. And oh, no that is bought. hilarious! Yeah. I gotta include that on my top mixed list. Mixed reviews, and there's only four hundred and something at the peak. At peak, four twenty nine at, at peak. Yeah, <laughs> that is fucking crazy. <laughs> I would I had I had one spot left on my top ten most disappointing games. So that might be able to make it. Based We're gonna on, have to play on sales it. It, for, for Sony. Right. That's what I say. It's oh, a yeah. disappointment for Sony. We'll play uh -huh. it and see if it sucks. Um, you know, as we usually do sometime in December, we try to play some of the games that we might have missed, uh, to compose the top list, which usually come out in January. Yeah. So. Um, that did not look fun. In bizarre news, <laughs> Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Yeah. Uh, do you it's still alive. 1,800 people playing 30 minutes ago. What? Uh, eight, 1,800. What happened? 1,800. Suicide Squad. A suicide Squad. Yeah, it went up. Massive, massive spike why? playing right oh, now. Oh, well, I'll tell you why. 
I recently saw it was like 90% off, 80% off. It was like huge sales during, you know. The, I, I understand that, uh, but like if you give it Black to me Friday for free, I'd be like, thank you, but I still don't ah! want it. <laughs> you can eat a dead bird out of the gutter for free, <laughs> yeah. but doesn't mean you should do exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. No. no. Obviously, the numbers are like, uh, why would you get it? If you it's, yourself, if it's right? 10 bucks, if it's 5 bucks, I can see somebody getting it for what? Just the story, just the, you know, because they do some high quality fucking cutscenes and graphics. I still don't think it's worth it, no. but I could see others who, you know, care about those kinds of really empty shell games, looter shooters that suck. There are looter shooters that are good. This is one uh, looter shooter that sucks. I really liked when um, Captain Boomerang pulled out his penis and peed all over yeah. uh, the Flash, and then everyone commented on how good his penis was. Yeah. And the yeah. boss that uh, it has repetition again and yeah. again and again. And I like again. the seven bosses that are exactly the same. There's Thirteen the other, brainiacs the that Thirteen copy brainiacs the same <laughs> that, moves. Yeah. From the did. original <laughs> bosses. They just took the Superman boss battle, then they painted him purple. Uh, they took the Flash boss battle, they painted him purple. Purple's so hot right now. <laughs> Purple's hot. And you got Miss Freeze or whatever it is. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of puzzling decisions. Uh, the only way I would go back, in, in, well, I would probably never go back. But there's one more DLC character coming, right? We're all waiting for Deathstroke. So I don't we know. We are? Because I'm not. I, I promise Those you. Those 1,800 people are waiting for Deathstroke. Yeah. Uh, if they keep giving it away for free uh, with these like sales, uh, yeah. I imagine people are going to continue to play more. I was just shocked that, that that number of people were playing. I'm still shocked about fucking Lego's Horizon. Yeah. That's, Damn. That's bad. That's, Damn. That's, <laughs> that's real bad. So uh, Concord had better numbers. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, at least you're special that way. Well, look Ma- for a sale soon for Concord Legos. Concord had better numbers, and it was completely shut down. Uh, Less than two weeks. But see, this isn't a live service game that releases a new story every week with a new cutscene with microtransactions that nobody buys. Yeah. So it they won't shut it down. They'll just pretend it never happened. Yeah. They'll, they'll say, we were disappointed in the sales that mm. Lego, yeah. Shit, I, I am too. I finally agree with <laughs> I'm you. I'm disappointed for you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, pretty sad. I mean, that's supposed to be one of their marquee franchises. Hell, Astro Bot has more uh, Riz than, than fucking yeah. Alloy. <laughs> oh, well. All right. 2K Games has removed their launcher uh, from all Steam and Epic Games. It is now uh, dead. Uh, the, this, this whole thing where people wanting to make their own launchers. I totally forgot about that. To keep you in their know, ecosystem right. so you spend more on their games uh, was a horrible thing for actually Just remind me, Joe, I'm going to cancel my Ubisoft uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, play right. subscription. Yeah. <laughs> do it right now. It only takes I'm like, gonna do like it right two now. clicks. Uh, but yeah, so as of November 18th, the 2K, uh, this is according to 2K, the 2K launcher has been removed from every game that used it on Epic and Steam. And then we removed the 2K launcher beta, a completely separate launcher, because they had two from Sid Meier's to Sid 5. Um, and this is just good for absolutely everyone. I'm tired yes. of multiple you, launchers. You open the thing and you're like, hey, we need to open EA launcher, and then we need to open up Epic Game Store for some reason. You and need it's to like, go to hell. It's like, stop it. I didn't buy it on your platform. Go I don't to wanna, hell. I don't want to see your launcher anymore. Yeah. No. Your launcher is worse. Uh, and maybe if they made their launchers better, I wouldn't mind so much looking at you, Epic. Um, but it's it ain't good. No. Uh, we talked about games that got better. Uh, and No Man's Sky has finally reached very positive rating on Steam. It took eight years, um, but this is a big deal because it's got eighty percent of all user reviews are now positive. Uh, it had one of the worst launches in video games. Uh, you know, No Man's Lie. They, I yeah, mean, but they did it right. Finally, they've been uh, at it nonstop. I I do want to go back and check it out. There's a lot of stuff to do, especially with Sea of Thieves. That's another one. But, I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm more inclined to play No Man's Sky. Hmm. That's I, I've been, yeah, because like, I've been wanting to do uh, another space game, because let down with Starfield. Yeah. Yeah, space I like, game. I want to do like, something if fun. You do, that. Yeah, if you do No Man's Sky, very positive ratings, and uh, it's probably the game that it originally said it would be. It only took Eight. quite a few years. It proved Todd Howard right. Known liar Todd Howard, because it's not how you launch. <laughs> it's 
it's where you it's end up. It's where you end up. And that so, sucks. Yeah, I don't like yeah. that philosophy at all i don't like that at all i like that no man's sky did what they they should have done and they fixed the game yep. but i hate the notion that video game co- companies are going to look at this and they could be incentivized to release a game in a horrible state simply fix it later and go see we did we eventually did it it's like look when i pay you money yeah and i've got you know limited time it it sucks it feels like you've we were lied to and robbed i know there's not going to be a lot of people like you and i uh, we would wait for it. Like now, it's very positive, and I'm pretty sure we can get it on sale. Yeah. So I was like, well, we'll hold off till it's perfect. Yeah. Bam! Now it's time to purchase it and play it. It pays to be a patient gamer. Exactly. Uh, it pays to wait for reviews. Uh, no matter how late our reviews are, go check out our Dragon Age Vanguard yes. review. Yes, it's up right uh, now. Yeah, it's it's up right now. In case you were wondering. You should watch the review. Yeah, it's not not a happy review. Yeah. yeah. Okay, status canceled. Yeah, boy. You, you did it. Saved eighteen up, books. Right? <gasps> no, right? No, you need what it for uh, Beyond Good and Evil Two. Yeah, in five years. <laughs> <laughs> no, that it's thing coming out, out sooner than that. Yeah, it probably will come out sooner than that. I'll, okay. I'll activate it again for that. That'd be the only one. We're gonna play our guessing game again. Or if it's eighteen dollars for Ubisoft, uh, Shadow. It is. Shadow thing. Yes. Assassin's Creed what, what Shadows. Is it? Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'll reactivate it for that. Yeah. $18. We're not paying 70 bucks for Shadows. No. Absolutely. Hell no. Yeah. All right. Guessing game, guys. Guessing Scott, game. Put on your thinking caps. Mm. All right. What is the bigger figure? I like these games. Yeah. Multiple games. Uh, the total fund crowdfunding that Star Citizen has hit right now. Or the combined cost of season one and two of Rings of Power because we have the this figures for like both. A what? Question. Sounds like oh, a trick. which one is more? The combined <laughs> cost of season one and two together, not including the license fee, because we know the license fee. Okay, is if it's not including the license fee, Star Citizen is I more. I want to say Rings of Power because they've done a lot of dumb shit, and let's just say they overpaid. They're very expensive. By a lot. Yes, dumb shit. <laughs> exactly. They've done a lot of very expensive. I'm gonna expensive go with dumb Rings of Power. I'm going Star Citizen. Yeah, uh, it is Rings of Power. Fuck. Uh, Star Citizen. Okay, so we'll start with Rings. Like, how, Star Citizen how? like up seven hundred million dollars or something like that. Okay, so these are the things we know. We know that Amazon paid two hundred fifty million dollars to buy the television rights to the Lord of the Rings. Right, from, but you said don't include that. Don't include. It. Didn't uh, not include. Fucking crazy. Fucking way. Yeah, that's uh, fucking crazy. Now this was this. <laughs> was in 2017 where all the streaming services were losing their goddamn yes. mind mm. and they were playing all of this money because they wanted to lure you in with a boring movie starring The Rock, Ryan Reynolds, and Gal Gadot for no reason and they put no thought into it whatsoever and then they just put it up there and said watch it you goddamn imbeciles and mm-hmm. then forget that you subscribe to Netflix. Yeah. I don't know if it worked for them but we're getting more of them so maybe it did. So Amazon wanted in on that and they wanted a marquee series so they paid $250 million. Well... Would not include that. Amazon right. films these uh, films rings of power in countries that give rebates based on production costs in their country. Yeah. So we actually have fi- like actual figures from Forbes magazine okay. that the f- the first season was filmed in New Zealand, and the total cost of season one was f- four hundred and fifty. Three hundred fifty point seven million dollars for season one. Oh my god! Season what? two's How is cost that possible was four hundred. Doesn't even look that expensive. It doesn't. Like everything no. looks small. Everything is small. There's like five L's like in the get, entire world. You can get that scenery with the drone. Like that's cool scenery. There's seventeen but elves. <laughs> yeah. So I keep running in a circle. Act like you're panicking. <laughs> I think they did. <laughs> There's 30 people who live in Numenor, and it's like, okay, I, I guess. Stupid armor. They took the gems! Yeah. Uh, th- they said it's thanks to ex- extravagant effects, which recreated armies of orcs marching through no. sweeping storybook telling. That cost $350 no. million, dollars, apparently. No, because in season one, there mm. were no sweeping battles. You never really saw massive armies. The first time I ever noticed any army activity was in season two when they assault the wall in the stupidest way possible. That's that's it. And the wow. elves, little dots you see in the background. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, season the two. The opening where they tried to oh, depict, uh, you know, Sauron fighting, or no, I think it was Morgoth losing. I, I don't know. Uh, that would be the only cool what visual, but that's not three hundred million. Yeah, uh, season two costs more at four hundred and fifty-eight point two yeah, million dollars. Because they actually showed the battle. It's got to be like what five million for the rubber swords. This has to <laughs> be. <laughs> 
Yeah. Do you remember the Nabokov? The swords are five million each. <laughs> this. <laughs> Don't forget these numbers for when we it was Rings of Power season three comes along and we do our reviews. Yeah, this is a joke. This is burning money. This is Jeff Bezos and and it Amazon where... fucking flexing while you know fucking people you know suffer paycheck to paycheck. Meanwhile, we're burning money over here while these I, I don't I know. Don't under, where no breaks. You pissing those bottles in the corner, but personal we, projects of billionaire billionaire CEOs. Let's put billionaire CEOs in charge of everything. Great yeah. idea. Yeah. So they spent eight hundred mil over eight hundred million dollars on season one and two, not including the licensing cost, um, which is crazy. Which means they've already spent a billion dollars on just the first two seasons the only thing this, <laughs> the only thing this does is it really shows what a fucking deal peter jackson's trilogy was oh, i know wow for the for less the less than the cost of one <laughs> rings of power season you can have an entire movie trilogy now that is hate, legendary that stands the test of time now you don't hate the hobbit as much huh and no, I Hobbit still do. Here, here. I mean, just because something is worse doesn't make something else better. That. Yeah. Like that, it, they're yeah. still not good. But yes, Rings of Power is significantly worse. <laughs> uh, so yeah, eight hundred million dollars versus Star Citizen Damn. is now fuck. It was closing close. in though. It was close. It's closing in. It close. It was close enough that I thought it would be a, a fun thing because Star Citizen did hit over seven hundred fifty million this mm -hmm. week. Right. They're at like seven sixty, almost seven sixty right now. By the time Star Citizen comes out, it might be a that billion. they move, move ahead. But then season three of Rings of Power comes out and goes boom, big dick on the table. Another four hundred million dollars for season three. I, I don't know how they're doing this. I really don't. Do you think money that laundering, <laughs> billionaire money Alex. laundering, is talking to, to all his CEO <laughs> friends, just like pour money in here, all your illegal activities, and fund the show, and then I'll pump out some clean money from you guys. Yeah. Uh, just to remind people, if you haven't watched a Rings, excellent Rings of Power uh, mm. reviews. Yes. Uh, only 37% of U.S. viewers who started watching the first season finished it. 37%. Um, the first episode of... Finished. Yay, that's one of us. Or yeah, the first episode was watched by 900,000 U.S. households, which is about half the size of the audience of the season one pilot. So season two saw half... Uh, mm -hmm. the number of people that season one did. Mm -hmm. And then typically as seasons go on, mm -hmm. unless there's really, really big hype, Which I do. it continues to fall because people are like, hey, I don't necessarily feel like getting a five <laughs> seasons into something. Mm -hmm. Look, if you're going to dump a bunch of time, there are so many great series that maybe you haven't watched. And The Sopranos, mm -hmm. you, I know. The Wire, you, I know. Breaking Bad. The Wire, I, see I haven't I see seen, okay. I haven't Bad, seen The Wire. So there's amazing things that you could be watching. This yeah. isn't one of them. Um, so, yeah. I haven't seen shit. Eight hundred million dollars for for two Man's seasons. Busy man. Watch terrible movies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's easier to commit to like a night. No, I get you. Terrible it's, movies. It's easier to, to not commit to ten than seasons a, of something than an eighty-seven episode season. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, got it. All right, so Star Citizen funding, like we said, has passed seven hundred and fifty million dollars. Wow. Uh, the game's still in early access. Uh, Squadron Forty Two single player campaign is said to be launching in twenty twenty six. So the end is near. We're looking like we're going to get some of these games sometime soon. But this is another massive milestone for them. Um, a lot. Of, I mean, depending on where you are, this is a good or a bad thing. Yeah. Some people are like, "Hey, this is what a group of like minded people who really want something are showing a company that they're willing to support them." Through no all these things, what. and then other people are like, "Hey, this is pretty much um, management malpractice, where this company has been fleecing you, mm. and this game should have been made for probably half the amount of money if they were run by competent adults, because the scope creep is has been kind of insane, and they've yeah. been stretching this out because this is a 2012 project. It's mm -hmm. 12 years later. We are, you know, we're they say we're nearing the finish line, but they've been saying that for kind of a while, and so." I don't know. Uh, to put that in perspective, Red Dead Redemption 2, one of the most expensive video games, uh, had its budget of $540 million, including marketing. And so we're well beyond this. Now, to be fair, this is space. It's a big scope. Yes. That has nothing to do with shit. Yeah. <laughs> space. But, I mean, that's a... Well, I just don't like the whole ships and how much they cost. And the insurance. Well, you and don't like that, stuff. Jeff? They're fucking expensive. <laughs> yeah, I... That's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't like paying for those things. I don't like when they tell they they insist, they say that they're gonna have ships are gonna have something and they change it later, and then 
it, I don't know. It just feels it feels yucky to me. Everything about it feels yucky. But maybe it'll be worth it when the game comes down and it's amazing. And then other people with too much money did it. But I still don't like the mm. the, the treatment of consumers. Yeah, it's another one for me for being a patient gamer. I'll wait till it comes out. You being what stingy happens. and letting <laughs> yeah, someone else pay exactly. for things. <laughs> frugal. It's called frugal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have no problem. Like, I'm fine with that. I ain't yeah. going to pay that much. It's yeah. like, I'm going to see always been okay once it's done. That. I'll buy the cheapest ship. If it's like five bucks, it's just made out of wood. I'll take it. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. It's a fishbowl. And, uh, take it. And you can just put it on your, and then a bunch of trash bags <laughs> you put on your body. You get it for about $47. That's Oof. that's your starter ship. And you just float Oof. wherever. Even you know. that's expensive. You got anything cheaper? Yeah. I, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, so cool. 750, we're going to hit eight pretty quickly. And then I imagine as we get closer yeah. to launch, I think that number is going to start rising much faster because I think people are going to get more and more excited it's about like, we're it. We're almost there. Everyone pitch in. I think there were a lot of people that were waiting to see if this thing was actually ever going to come out. And I also imagine that they're going to put out a bunch of the most impressive ships that you've ever heard about the game for cheaper than they've been do- marketing mm, ships before. Yeah, that's I'm another curious. thing too, yeah. How that's going to go down with the community that's the most loyal to the game, yeah. where they spend all this money and then the ships are cheaper later, or you could just get them by stealing them, by being pirates in the world, yeah. right? It's going to make them look so foolish. Yeah. It's when you're dealing, uh, you're dealing with that ma- that amount of money. There's a lot of risks that come in. Yeah. Uh, so, but and then there's the other aspect of well, they want to continue to make money, or they'll just make the ships expensive again, and they'll continue selling new ships, a new design for five thousand dollars, with insurance that no one can steal your ship. Yeah. They'll do the whole meta thing. It's like, oh, this is the best. And there's ship. There's already insurance. Everyone that buys no one it. Can steal your ship already. And then they fix it. The next one. The next one. Yeah. No one ever wakes up and says, I want to make less money today. Uh, and I imagine <laughs> when they release the game, they're going to continue to release yeah. these incredible ship packs. And then the problem that, that we go there is then does it become a pay-to-win experience? Mm. Because they're not going to want to stop selling these things. No. And so they're going to release a new Corsair. They're going to release a new you know, Galaxy, a new whatever it is. And it's going to like, well, this one's got nine guns on the front. And yours stripes. only has two. And this It makes it go faster. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so... <laughs> We'll see. There's a lot of stuff that, that we just have to see yep. with this, this release. Okay. Right. That's why you should wait once it's out. Yeah. Be like OG. Have yes. someone else pay for all of the stuff that you use. Yes. And then he comes over Be and smart. you make him food. And, he, you know. I, get, he I pay you with it. hugs. <laughs> no, you don't. Or you don't want them. <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You had uh, a couple you want to talk about? Yeah, uh, so apparently um, there's a secret hawker, uh, secret, ooh, this is a tongue twister, a secret stalker 2 hack, a secret stalker 2 hack uh, that can cut your loading times from like five minutes down to 52 seconds. I found it on PC Gamer, and what do you have to do? Uh, If you're just that annoyed, having to wait five minutes, uh, you remove, you go into, you have to actually modify the files. What you're doing is you're removing the intro videos and the Unreal Engine 5 shader compilations. Shaders. Yeah, the shaders fuck things up. Uh, So, you know, Stalker 2 uh, and Stalker series has been known to be a little buggy, has been known to be a little uh, um, rough around the edges, not necessarily perfectly optimized. Uh, so if you want that little hack, know that it's there. You just have to go into the config, uh, the Windows folders, and start making changes, which I don't recommend if you don't know what you're doing. Actually, you're not going to know what you're doing. I recommend if you don't know what you're doing. Because this isn't going to, this is just, if if you fuck up the game, just reinstall the game, okay? This isn't going into, like, the registry or something. Stay out of that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, if you're desperate to reduce load times, because we are, uh, you know, going to play through Stalker 2, and um, we got the SSD, so hopefully it's not going to be an <coughs> issue. But... Uh, and then the final story is um, a sad one, some we can reflect on. I'm very curious. Uh, back in the age 
the Dragon Age. The Dragon Age Bill Gordon. of goodness. Oh. Back when it was good, <laughs> or at least better. I mean, Dragon Age Inquisition wasn't exactly my favorite Dragon Age. But I've got a new story here that we can reflect on after the terrible uh, Veil Guard. The final expansion for Inquisition was going to force us to blow up our home base and kill a fan favorite Origins companion. So this is pretty cool. So let me read this. Uh, Bioware art lead Matt Rhodes uh, was, you know, keep keeps uh, delving into some revelations about the Dragon Age series when he was working on it. So he has some concept art for the Trespasser DLC uh, that never came out, or or actually shows a different, even darker ending for the status quo uh, upending expansion that that you had. Um, so, in an earlier version of the story, Sten would arrive to arrest you for meddling with magic, and I did use magic in mind, uh, but Dagna had reverse engineered their explosive, uh, Rhodes wrote on Twitter. You have a trap for when they return, which sacrifices the skyhold in the process, and it blows up your, your whole thing trespasser already sees a ton of plot whammies because uh, it came out like the inquisitor losing their hand and powers inquisition either disbanding or getting absorbed into the chantry iron bull potentially betraying the party for the coon uh or the literal destruction of your home base to go along with the political and symbolic death of the inquisition tough decisions that's weird yeah some some cool uh ramifications they and some interesting. but uh even crazier would have been the reappearance and then the death of Sten. So if you remember, this is a, a, a one from, uh, from a further back. And it's yeah, possible. He, he shows up. It's possible for him to die or miss, missing <coughs> him completely. You know, that's another thing is like not even meeting characters or telling characters to fuck off. I don't want you to be in my party. You can't say I that miss anymore. That. It you adds for Oh, I can't say fuck no. off. Hey, can you You're right, please, I can't say fuck up. If you like, just leave. I like your shirt. Oh, no, thank it's you. Dragon uh, cool. Yeah, because it makes Dragon Ball Z. It allows for replayability when yes. you make major decisions. Exactly. And, you know, it's like, oh no, everyone happens to be in this the same thing. And mm -hmm. so the only thing difference is, oh, who you romance with the lights turned off. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, no. <laughs> Watch your Veil Guard review. I'll rather play yeah, Baldur's It's about, it, yeah, the ancient elven gods, Elganon and Gilgamesh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> ancient Elganon? elven gods? Man, Elganon and Gilganane? Forever. I want Forever. That, I want Elganon and Gilganane. Now Elganon, you remember their names, Gilganon. right? We have 30. You don't remember? Elganon, Gilganane. No! no! Why it, does he do he it the the every time? Like it's oh, lemonade. lemonade. It's not lemonade. <laughs> Gilganane, <laughs> not Gilganane. <laughs> Like Cannonade. Like I don't know why that bothers me so much when he was doing it on the green screen. He was driving me nuts. It was like 30 minutes Gilgan to get that opening filmed. Yeah. And uh, we'll have to, wait. in one of our Q&As in the future, yeah. maybe in December, we'll uh, yeah, later maybe on this in December. Week? No, yeah, let's, let's do a combined one for the holidays, okay. I think. So, all right. But uh, I'm not done. Uh, so, uh, as uh, of the Veil Guard, let's see. Um, hmm. Let's see. It's possible for Stan to die or be missed by the player altogether. But in the comics, it's established that he helped save Ferelden before returning to his people and becoming a new era shock, replacing the one that we saw in Dragon Age 2. Uh, ironically, that would mean Stan isn't even his name anymore since that's his military rank. But, you know, it's, it's Stan. But um, the choice to kill... Either the Warden from Origins or Hawk from uh, Dragon Age 2 was ultimately cut from Inquisition. That would have been fucking crazy. Like, and but it, you see how that this game and the DLC, what they had planned for it, it's like, oh, let's pay homage and let's include things that happened in the past. And then this Veil Guard it doesn't link to any of the shit in the past except for my fucking midget Riker that shows up oh, and, fun and, size. and does absolutely nothing. Fun size Riker <laughs> that does absolutely nothing in the game. It would have been cool if you had a choice to kill him off or to, you know, find where's the warden from Origins or Hawk. Nope. I don't know. 
He's so, busy doing stuff in the South, Joe. They're busy doing stuff in the South. So I anyway, got stuff to do. <laughs> Rhodes has been liberally sharing me. development stories and concept art uh, from back when the series was good. And uh, <laughs> I just thought we'd reflect on that for a little bit. Um, Better times. Yeah. That's all, that's all I got on that one. I got some more for our second video. Uh, we want to thank our new sponsors. Click the links down below, especially yep. if you travel a lot. It's going to be very helpful for you guys. And, yeah, we'll, we'll see you guys in the next video, uh, part two. See you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.